I'm Dorothy Brenninger and I own the Delphi Center for Organization. We're here in Los Angeles, in fact at UCLA right now, and I'm talking about saving our parents. Not just here in LA, but all over the country and all over the world. Saving Our Parents actually is a DVD. It's a documentary that we put together with lots of celebrities and lots of experts. And we did it because my business partner and her husband actually had something very tragic occur in their lives, whereby Debbie, whose father is an Orthodox rabbi, and her husband Ken, whose father is a devout Christian, each moved into their home at the same time. We would think that is just an okay kind of thing to have happen, right? But what was going on prior to that experience was uh, Ken's father was living on his own and they had a caregiver come in, wonderful, being taken care of. All of a sudden, months later, we started seeing money disappearing from Ken's father's bank account. And what happened was, just a short version, Ken's father was actually being poisoned and was going blind, so he could no longer see. The caregiver would take him to the bank, blind, and have him wave at the teller and say, hi, how are you doing, how are you? And they would acknowledge each other, but the caregiver was actually writing out a check for $7,500 rather than $75. And suddenly the father had to move into you know, their house. So, and at the same time, Debbie's father was experiencing dementia and was having to kind of leave his post at the temple, and Dad was coming to live <laughs> with Debbie and Ken also. So we were busy organizing all sorts of rooms and the house and which way, you know, the prayer would go for each of them and who wears the yarmulke and does everybody or not. So we had all sorts of activities going on, but it required a lot of organization and I'm a professional organizer. That's how we started this film. Like, who would ever believe this? So then we started realizing that it was all about scams. You know, there are people out there that are trained to go in and deceive older folks. And we've got Ed Asner on board and, let's see, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield. They're my co-authors on Chicken Soup for the Soul. They were glad to give their time along with Art Linkletter and then the, you know, L.A. County Department of Health, which is Jonathan Fielding, and LAPD Chief Bratton, who was in Boston and now here. Everybody started signing on. So we have the drama of the crooks. We also have the solutions of what we can do to take care of our parents. What we did was take all of our life experience and write a lot of books. We wrote The Senior Organizer, which organizes all your medical, legal, financial, personal stuff all in one place, including all the caregiving activities that goes on. So that if you're a caregiver, you need a little time off, <laughs> someone else can come in and take over and all the notes are there and ready to go. Beyond that, we have the DVD. So, you know, those products all arrived or derived out of that experience, but what was really cool was inside of all of that, um, we came up with a, what's called Cherish Memories, The Story of My Life, which is an interview book. And we use that strictly for, you know, medical purposes, so that when people came to visit the dads, they had something to talk about, they had something that they could interview, and we could help them remember their past. But it became more than that. It became true interviews and all the generations came together and over, you know, a Shabbat dinner or a Sunday dinner, whatever they were, you know, uh, celebrating, the family would ask questions and everybody would answer and it would bring back memories for both of these gentlemen who had long ago started losing those memories. And then because they had written in their favorite music and all of that kind of stuff, we would play that music and it stimulated their brain so that, that we're playing the music and we're reliving the stories and the people are there and we really got, and, and I got to be part of their family in doing all this, so we all got to experience an amazing <laughs> generational gift. It, it's not a relief, it, it's a sense of absolute um, well, total kindness, total compassion that they were able to find for their parents. Like they did everything they could. 
you know, like who really wants to have mom and dad move in? But if you really take it on and learn about who they are, it's so tremendously wonderful. And that's what they got. They knew they did it. They did right by the dads. When we started putting this project together, and it includes lots of other things, like I mentioned the chicken soup for the soul, it's life lessons and organizing tips for busy moms, right? It's all about family. We wanted it to address all the areas of family. But when we started particularly about saving our parents and explaining, well, you know, it came out of Debbie's father, you know, and had to have surgery and this, everybody goes, oh! Oh, you wouldn't believe it that just happened to my mother my sister-in-law just had that with her father I can't even begin to tell you my mom passed away I never got her story these everybody responds with something <gasps> big I have to have it oh my gosh thank you for doing it so other than you know collecting the memories the benefit for all of this is <laughs> they feel a sense of greater health. We actually have Johns Hopkins University did a study with our products that when the, the parents are either getting their life story down or putting their medical information in, whatever it takes, or just seeing the film about how to take care of themselves against scams, they their, the blood pressure drops and they actually feel a greater sense of security and safety because they don't want to be a burden to their kids. So when they know that they've got this information listed, that they've taken care of business, they can actually live a more peaceful life for the rest of their life. Debbie's father always required three kisses, either giving them or getting them. One kiss was for the past, one was for the present, and one was for the future. And almost all of our material that we put together whether I'm organizing in someone's house, or whether we're asking questions. It always has to do with what went on before, what's going on now, and what you want for the future. And I, it gives me chills because this is, this is my business partner. This is the woman that's my friend and business partner, and I get to work with her every day. I think what drives me is having lost my father at such a young age. And I felt very lost at that time, and I didn't have anything, you know, I just didn't have those adult life tools. Some people learn it much younger. I, I didn't. And um, so I thought, okay, I'll try to make this go on my own. And then suddenly, well, sorry, that caregiving was happening for me with my dad already when I was 16. And it was already clear that that's what I was up to. So I think what drives me is just make it easier for people. I like to have a good time. I like to be profitable in business, but I want to be green and I want to be helpful and I really appreciate the aging population. I adore them. You, I mean, when they start talking, you go into their home and then you, you ask about a, an artifact in their <laughs> shelves, the conversation lives. I mean, their experience comes alive. It, it's <laughs> irreplaceable. <laughs> What I hope my legacy will be, and I've never been asked this question before, so I'm really grateful to you, um, is I've learned so many lessons the hard way. All of it hard, nothing came easy. And every time I learn another lesson, I either go on television or <laughs> I speak to an audience of 500 or 1,000 people or <laughs> wherever I am. And I actually get to share my experience. And some of it's been really tragic and some has been really great, but I know that I can shift people. So I think if my legacy is something that I was able to actually help people shift and take an action, just one, the one thing that they can't quite get, yes, they can. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's it.